What up, guys? Swingo here again, and today we're going to have a versus matchup. The title of the Titans at the $200 price range. Cleto Reyes, the classic, versus Fly Super Lasex, the up-and-comer. First, let's start with the classic, the Cleto Reyes. Cleto Reyes. Obviously, very well-known glove. See fighters using these in, in their professional boxing matches all the time. But this is the training glove, not the fight glove. Training glove, you'll see in a lot of gyms. A lot of different people will have it. It's it's one of the better training gloves throughout, throughout the history of professional boxing in the last 60, 70 years or so. It has a triple cuff with single stitching across the triple cuff. A latex foam padding. It has... Nice little grip bar going through there. Great stitching, double stitching throughout, coming up and down. Soft padding go across the inside of the wrist, black piping. Um, white thumb strip, white inside of the thumb. Attached thumb, black leather attached thumb right there that, that uh, works pretty well at holding the thumb in place. You have the triple cuff with the padding across the back. Piping is, is decent on this. You have a black moisture wicking. I'm not sure if it's a canvas or what it is. It's it's smoother though than what I than canvas I think, but I don't know. It might very well be a canvas. I'm not sure. It's not it's not super buttery smooth, but it's pretty comfortable when you, when you slide your hand in. When I put my hand in, it feels excellent. Um, I can I can clench my fist Can open it somewhat somewhat well, although it is troublesome with these gloves Especially when you first get it, but I've had this glove for years eight years now And it's pretty well broken So that's that's about what it will open to when you get when you've had these gloves for the for a while It'll uh when you lace it up it goes around the triple cuff pretty well and and hold your wrist gives you great wrist protection feels great bounce Bounce from the uh, latex padding is one of the is one of the great things about Mexican gl gloves like the Cleto Reyes. That latex padding has something to it. It's it's a decently comfortable glove, although right here it feels like it makes my thumb kind of flare out just a little bit, just a tad bit. No no big deal though. It's not that bad. And when you use this on the bag, great pop, mitts, great great pop. One of the problems with the Rays, though, is this is supposed to be 12 ounces, but I weighed it, and each one of my Cleto Rays gloves that are 12 ounces actually weigh around 14 ounces. One's a little bit over over by, like, 0.2, and one's a little under by 0.1, so that's a little bit weird. Um, other than that, it's an excellent, comfortable glove, and I love it. <laughs> now let's move on to the Fly Super Lace X. Fly Super Lace X is a young up-and-comer in the game. It's been out for a couple of years now, and they have a lot of colorways. This one is the black and the white. It has a... It's not leather like the Cleto Reyes glove. This one is, is a synthetic, but it's a high-quality synthetic. It hasn't broke down. I've had it over a year and a half, and it still looks brand new. It feels very similar to the synthetic leather that Winning uses in, the, uh, in their headgear that I have hanging up there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But it's a very high quality synthetic. It's pretty much supposed to be the same padding that they put in, in the uh, in the Fly Super Lace Premium and the Fly Super Loop Premium. The X line just uh, the difference is the synthetic and a little bit different uh, something different on, on that you can feel when you have have your fingers in it at your fingertips on the inside. It has double stitching, the X pattern that goes through to help lock your wrist in place and give you great protection on your wrist. You have your thumb strip right right there that's double stitched. You have nice little a nice grip bar right there that's double stitched through. Stitching on this is excellent. There's there's no frayed stitching. It's all lined up perfectly. Double stitching throughout coming up and around, which is excellent. Piping on it is absolutely beautiful. Long, long, long round laces to help tie your wrist in place. You have a black interior lining that is extremely comfortable and moisture wicking it basically just when you're not, you're not you don't got to worry about the padding soaking up your sweat 
it's gonna it's gonna come out when if you let your gloves dry out and it's not gonna absorb into this because that lining is excellent at wicking it away and it's buttery smooth when I slide my hand in fly has some if probably the best ergonomics when it comes to boxing gloves right now in my opinion out of them all I think they are the most comfortable glove on the market the padding is soft to medium density when you push it in it starts to get denser the further you go in but it's really soft on the exterior the thumb strip right here does not uh the thumb strip doesn't pinch my thumb cutting off circulation it's very very comfortable you have this uh padding on the inside of the wrist which helps keep your wrist locked in place and help helps keep it comfortable so the laces aren't digging into your uh forearm grip bar feels excellent there's a there's a little piece that rolls over inside by the fingertip to help help me curl over an excellent fist where I grab the grip bar feels excellent the thumb is perfect the thumb curls over and around like this uh, the thumb attachment does when I curl a fist does not pull pull my thumb down it stays in a comfortable place and, and it bends over like that which is excellent because it allows me to uh, like like when I create a real fist. See how my thumb bends and curls around like that? That's how you should create a real fist in real life if you if you don't have a glove on. Otherwise, you could end up injuring your hand and your thumb. It also, when you land on the bag or the pads or your sparring partner, <laughs> you land on the two knuckles that you're supposed to land on in, in this glove. And that's with your wrist straight, which is one of the things that I love about fly is the, the hand ergonomics help you form a perfect fist and land perfectly on those knuckles where, where you're not hitting on these these knuckles right here the door knocking knuckles you're you're landing with the punching knuckles those two right here which is what you need to land with because that's where it's structurally sound at behind your punches so comfortable when your hands in here fits fits like a glove no pun intended it, it's uh Another thing I like about it is is there's less space than it in this one than in the Cleto Reyes. It's it's a nice compact glove, compact hand compartment that, that fits my hand snug. If you have larger hands, go with the size up on this because it might be a little bit too tight for you. I mean, you'll probably be able to break it in over time, but just go with the size up if if you have a larger hand and you know you have a larger hand. Just trust trust me on that one. There's no uh, ventilated holes. Although there are some ventilator holes on the Reyes glove in the thumb. No ventilator holes on this, but it's not really a worn glove with that lining. It stays pretty cool regardless. So that's not really an issue. When you lace it up, it has excellent wrist wrist protection. Although it seems like it seems like that it wouldn't, because when you feel it, that hinge point is kind of seems kind of flimsy when you're out of it. But when it's laced up, you get great wrist protection on this. This glove is not very top heavy. It's it's overall very well balanced. It, it doesn't sink in the front, unlike the Reyes, which probably does sink in the front. Watch, top heavy. See that? <laughs> it's just because it's heavier in the front of the knuckles. But other than that, if I gotta give my opinion on it, Cleto Reyes is a legend in the game. Can't go wrong. But if I'm gonna spend $200 on a training glove these days, if, if it's going to be between these two, I'm going to go with my Fly Super Lace X. It's just better, better overall comfort, hand ergonomics. Feels better on my hand. The way the thumb feels is much better. Landing on my knuckles the right way and, and my hand is, doesn't have space to roam around in the glove. It, it like hugs my hand the way I, I want a glove to hug my hand. Overall, between these two, I'm going to have to go with Fly Super Lace X. But I can see why... A lot of Reyes people out there love the Reyes glove and won't change from it. It is an excellent glove that has lasted forever. This, mind you, this glove has lasted me eight years and I've only had this one for a year and a half. I don't know how this glove will be doing six and a half years from now. Hopefully it's still around for me to know by, by then and I'm still around to know by then. Uh, this has been a, a great opportunity to show you guys the difference between these two gloves. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. God bless.